So, my friends, finally, Windows is running smoothly on my mobile, and even the Windows functions are working perfectly. The most exciting part is that there's no time limit for doing all of this. You can run Windows for as long as you want. So, my friends, you saw in the beginning of the video that I finally managed to run Windows on my mobile. If you want to do the same, watch the video until the end. Enough talk for now, I will show you practically. I'm here on my PC screen. Today, I'm going to turn this PC into a cloud PC and run it on my Android device. You heard it right. To do all of this, you will need a PC. You can use any low-end PC, and if you don't have one, you can borrow a PC from a friend or relative. Just watch this entire video and you will understand what I'm trying to say. First of all, you need to open your browser and search for Chrome Remote Desktop. Once you're on the website, you need to sign in. Make sure to use the same account to sign in on both your PC and your mobile. I've already signed in. After signing in, you'll see an interface like this. Simply click on the download button and the file will start downloading. Now, click on the ready to install button and install the downloaded file. It should take at least two to three minutes to install. As you can see, the software has been successfully installed. Now, click on Next. This is a crucial step. Here, you need to enter a random PIN code, and you should remember this PIN code because you'll need to enter it on your mobile later. Now, click on Start. Our work on the PC is done, and the remaining steps will be on your mobile. I'm here on my mobile screen now. Simply go to the Play Store and search for the application that we search for on the PC. Now, install the app, and since it's only 0.9 MB in size, it should install quickly. After installation, you need to open this app. Now, you have to click on this icon. Remember that you should use the same account you use to sign in on your PC on your mobile. My account is already set up. Now you need to enter the PIN code you set. As you can see, Windows is running on our mobile. There's a bit of lag because I'm using a screen recorder. Overall, I liked it a lot. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're interested in using an Android emulator on a low-end PC, click on the left video. And if you're interested in Android operating systems, click on the right video. I'll see you there.